one of the reasons why church members fall away is because they don't have the word of God um, in their lives. Giving their husbands unconditional respect. Admittedly, this is a foreign term to many women. Hunika is really that time that you can offer up to God and, and allow Him to give you His Word through the Divine Principle, uh, Chan San Gyan. Uh, right now we're reading Love and Respect because we're trying to take this opportunity to better ourselves. And I think uh, a lot of the time of the day, uh, we focus on work, money, um, other things beside that connection with our Heavenly Father. Well, let's move the chairs because I think there's so many of us now that we have to move all the chairs back. I've never had the tradition of doing Kundake. My mom would try occasionally. I guess everyone just got really busy. For whatever reason, we stopped doing Kundake as much and stopped meeting together as family. Um, but I think for for our family, I have kind of pushed, and Marianne also agrees that doing Hyundai is important. And uh, thank you anyway so much for the opportunity to get to understand Emerson and uh, each other. It's always a, a new thing and new emotion, new feelings every day. So thank you so much. Remember this my name, Josh and Marianne, much now, plus it's family, Andrew. trying to create a tradition that is something that invites God into the, the house, into the family. And obviously you can do that through going to Sunday service, but um, Sunday service is more of, you know, get inspired through with your congregation, your community. It's really kind of connecting back to your community, making sure that you're keeping that strong relationship. But Hundoke is more for in the family, for keeping the connection in the family strong. It wasn't really like, I feel like, detailed explanation. I think the second king is giving detailed explanations on what your father has given us. Like with the peace, police militia. Like you can use it in your yeah, life. Yeah, like your father came and gave like all the information that is necessary, the basic right. guideline. Right. But it was like, his course was to take all the things that we didn't know in the satanic world, clear them up, and show us the right way. To um, distinguish. To distinguish between the good and evil. Yeah. Show us how we should do. It's like he told us, uh, we shouldn't be dancing with partners who, you know, we're not going to be married to. Actually bashed on in Janim. Doing the ballroom dancing. It felt kind of wrong. The reason for that is because you're interacting. It, it's the same thing that I had against NGA and GPA is that you're spending so much time with the opposite sex, doing things that are very strenuous. So it's, it's, half the time you're tired. And then you're spending late nights talking about deep things and stuff alone. like that. Alone. Things do happen. Right. In mm -hmm. True Father's words, basically. I'm the love, is, like, love is greater strong. than principle, stronger than principle. No matter how principled you are, if you feel that love, it can bring you to the wrong path, which is what happened to Adam and Eve. Like normally, like if I were just talking to another sister in the church, like this is the distance. And now you're talking and dancing with someone physical. You know, you're being physical with someone like right here. So their face is like right here, you're here and you're... He was like four women wearing short shorts. The rule used to be like, you had to keep it below your fingertips or something. Mm -hmm. And she pushed to take that out because men should control their eyes. But like, that's not the point. That's not the heart like women should have for their brothers. For a man, it's impossible. I mean, it's actually impossible. Really? It's, re I mean, it's really difficult. Like, unless you're like a true father. He spent eight years, or something like that, seven years, eight years, oh, with his yeah, eyes like pointed at 45. Yeah. But most guys aren't like that. I 
know some second gen that did do their own hundake and with their families and stuff like that, but it didn't matter. As long mm -hmm. as hundake is there because you are taking responsibility for it, I think that's the most important thing is that you're taking responsibility for that time uh, to put your, you know, to give that time to God. I, I think it really is that connection. You're trying to make that connection between God and yourself. Hmm. And, you know, make a, tra a tradition of it. Because if we hadn't fallen, or if Adam and Eve hadn't fall, fallen, then... It wouldn't be necessary. It wouldn't be necessary because we would have that connection with God. But in order to create that, recreate that connection, we have to put the effort in. We have to put that time. Hmm. 